Hi everybody, I'm here in my studio. I'm just working on this painting and I thought it'd be good to turn the camera around and show you what I'm doing because it might be a useful tip for some of you. I have this painting. I love the colours. I'm happy with the composition. It's doing some of the things I want it to do. I might want to bring some light in to disrupt this up here, but mainly I'm okay with it. But what's slightly concerning me is there's a lot of heaviness of the same i want dark here but i don't want it all heavy in the same one of the ways i've been working on this is to layer some other colors um into this area it was all that maroon before but also i'm doing some removal of paint to create some interest and not just in the purple actually in some other areas and if you can see here this was a purple block and by sanding lightly I've discovered this beautiful or yellow mark from what's underneath. So I want to, do, I'm doing a little bit more of that and just trying to unearth some different textures that will create some more interest. Especially when you get close to the painting, I want there to be lots of things to look at. So I'll show you, I've got two ways that I mainly do this and sometimes I combine the two. So the first is this rubbing alcohol isopropyl alcohol this is 70 percent. you can get even stronger than this but this is what i've got so i put some of this on a cloth and then i'll just apply this over the this is acrylic paint and it's very subtle but can you see how we're starting to see through that purple there because it's starting to pull up one of the layers of the paint and if I go too far with this, I can just put that colour back on again. It's not going to make a huge difference from a distance, but it adds a lot of interest into the painting once you get closer, if you find these kind of little interesting places. See, I really like that because it's revealed another brush stroke underneath. So I don't want to change that now. But I also will take a little bit of sandpaper, scrunch it up, and then on top of the parts where the alcohol is being used, that will help to remove even more. I will also use a um, power sander, but I don't want to do that here because I'm just looking for subtlety. Now, I would normally do this wearing a mask, but I'm just demoing a little bit for you. But if I'm going to sand, I'll normally wear a mask. Apparently baby wipes work for this as well. Nice textures down there. Now doing this will also pull up some of the colour that you've got and it can, you can use it to, to as almost as a glaze to slightly change the colour of things around it. You see how that's just breaking up that line there? I like that. I'll zoom in after to show you some of the textures that have been created. I'm not all that comfortable with this rising diagonal that just keeps going. So I'm just going to disrupt that. This is not removing, this is adding again, but just blending that in with the tissue so we don't have all the same edges. Feel a little bit better about that now, but I'll have to I'll have to leave that and see how I feel about it later. But just taking some of this pink off, but I want to be careful not to take it all. Just want to create less of a defined edge between the sky and the land area in some places, so it feels a bit floatier. I'm feeling better about most of where I've broken this up. I think I'd like to break this up a little bit. And probably, you know, maybe this, maybe these changes don't actually make any difference in terms of the saleability of the painting. Maybe it would sell anyway, but it's not about that for me. I just want it to be as close to what I, I want it to be the best I can do, whatever that is at the time. And, and the best I can do won't necessarily be the best that's possible. In fact, it won't be. You know, Picasso could definitely improve on what I'm doing, but I can only do the best I can do. Yeah, that's bringing some lovely little textures in here. Just 
just can't get this this effect with the paint putting the paint on you've got to get it from taking it off i'm just going to do a bit of orbital sanding with my power sander outside on some areas in the sky because i love the textures up here and i'd like a little bit more of that texture in there so hold that thought and i'll be so if we look at the painting now it looks slightly darker on the camera than it actually is but that's just the light in here but if we have a look here you can see what some of the places where i've removed the paint here is where i use the orbital sander and it's actually brought up shades of former drips here sanded through this blue and it's created all these marks I left this area smooth, didn't sand, and then sanded here and got some interesting textures. It's a little bit too textured maybe now and I might want to just bring some smooth back in. I really liked this that came through from a prior layer. Uh, little scratchy marks and things that came through. Here's where I was removing with the rubbing alcohol and then I've glazed back over again in some places. These came through with the rubbing alcohol and sanding which are nice. More textures here. I might cover some of this up again, but these are textures that I like. I like these. I just love sanded textures. I like what lies underneath things. I like revealing hidden things. A little bit of sanded area there. Here's the rubbing alcohol blending in colour, which is quite nice. So, yeah, I think there's a lot of interesting things going on in it now and a nice sense of variety that I'm happy with. So I hope this gives you some ideas of things that you might be able to do um, to create some interest, add some depth to some of your paintings, particularly if you work in layers. Removing paint can be as exciting as putting it on. If you'd like more demos, uh, information, education, lessons, artist interviews and all of that with me, you can come and join my artist community and there's a link with this video, but you can also find it on my website at louisefletcherart.com. Just click on the For Artists tab at the top and you will find Art Tribe. And that is my artist community. You can join for a month free and just have a poke around and see what you think. And um, I hope you'll come and join us. It's a fantastic community and I really love making these kind of videos for that community. Anyway, see you soon. Take care. Bye.